Okay. So. <sighs> Take two. I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys whether you wanted to see an about me tag or why I dropped out of college. And all of you guys voted for um, why I dropped out of college. Well, 70% of you. Um, because y'all just nosy. And that's okay because I gave you the option. So we're going to get into it. So I have like a list here. Yes, I wrote it down. Old school. Hello. I don't know where to start just because there's so much that went into it. So fresh out of high school, ever since like my senior year of high school, I've always said that like I wanted to go to college. It was never an, a, a, an idea in my head like, oh, like, I'm not going to school. Like, no, I wanted to go to a four year school. I didn't even look for colleges that offered associates programs or degrees, which we'll get into later. I chose VCU, which is Virginia Commonwealth University. I don't know, some of you may know, some of you may not, whatever. It's a really good school. I loved how diverse they were. Like on campus, I like fell in love with it, blah, 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 blah. But what I really, really, where I really, really wanted to go was California. I was so set on going to California. Like I was like, nobody could tell me shit. Junior year of high school, I was like, no, like I'm going to Cali. And then everybody around me was like, no, stay at home, like do something closer or whatever. And like, I was like, okay. Okay, maybe I'll just like, you know, go to college here, then like leave later or whatever. That's just not how it worked out. Looking back, and I wish that I would have just done what I wanted to do. I met people, it's just amazing people while I was there. So I can't say that I wish I didn't, you know what I'm saying? But I do kind of wish that I listened to myself instead of other people around me beforehand. I went to school because I never saw myself not going to college for one and it was already hard enough kind of like living under my sister's shadow of like her going to a four-year school and her you know graduating good grades all that type of shit so it was like if i didn't go i didn't want to be like a disappointment and it wasn't that they, my parents told me like my family told me i'd be a disappointment it was more of like i just felt like they'd be disappointed you know, every parent wants to see their kid go to college. So I didn't want to be that kid that just like doesn't even try to go. So like I was going to go and I didn't. And it wasn't even like I was like, no, I don't even want to go to college. It was just me wanting to go somewhere else other than Virginia. So I settled on VCU, even though I loved the campus and fell in love with it. That was my best option for Virginia. Another reason is because I just wanted to get the fuck out of my house. It wasn't like I was not oh, such a horrible like household like it's a horrible upbringing like no it was not it was nothing like that it was not like that it was just there was a lot of tension with my family i was realizing things i was coming to my senses in a in a way because i was getting older so i was able to understand more things with my parents and like just life in general which is stuff that i don't really want to get into but basically i wanted to get the fuck out of my house like i did not want to be there so if that meant going to a college in virginia that wasn't five miles away from my house because vc is two hours away from me. even if it's not in cal all the way in california i was like you know what that's far enough whatever i'll probably end up wanting to come back home because i'm homesick anyways so whatever so that's what i did and like of course college was like amazing like first semester i was like oh my god it's so much fun like blah, blah 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 at the end of the first semester I gained a couple pounds and I know that everybody says like, oh, you gain weight or whatever, but that's not always necessarily true. I only gained like five or six pounds, maybe like seven. I don't even think I gained a whole 10 pounds. It might've been to be honest. I was just so fit in high school and I wasn't used to looking like that. So I immediately just like, I don't even know what happened. Like I was just so sad and so stressed out and so upset with myself. It's like, fuck this shit. And I wasn't like, I was, I went on this whole thing thing i don't know what to call i don't even know what to call it where i like disappeared like none of my friends like only only person i saw was my roommate in my dorm like that was it i went to the gym i went to class and i slept and literally that was it and i like barely ate for real for real i didn't i wasn't eating that much because like i was a broke college student like you don't really eat that much but i was going to the gym so much and that's when i started to kind of like i don't want to say find myself because that's so cliche but like kind of like found myself again like i was going to the gym every single day and i was posting videos like every single week and i was like inspiring people and i was helping people which is literally all i want to do is inspire people and give them advice when i actually saw people were responding to me and you know and looking at what i was doing and like they really like messed with it that was something that gave me i don't want to say gave me purpose but it was something that like definitely pushed me and that's when i realized that 
being an influencer was something that I wanted to do, like putting myself on social media for other people was something that I wanted to do. So it all comes full circle in the end, but let's just get back to what I was, what I was trying to say. Of course, like that's on top of everything, like you're so stressed out and it takes toll on you mentally. College does that to literally every single kid, but to me, it was like I couldn't, I couldn't do that anymore because I just wasn't happy. Like I just wanted to be happy. And I know you're not gonna be happy your whole entire life. They're gonna be there's gonna be rough patches, but it was like I could not see myself doing that for all four years. And then I told myself, you know what? Maybe it'll be different because I like switched majors and things like that. But I had switched my majors three times. Okay, I went in as a psychology major. As soon as I got there, I immediately switched to business. So I, was, I took business classes all of my first, my whole entire year I took business classes. So I was already on the route to be a business student. It was, it was hard. <laughs> I wasn't into that. I was not into everything else that I had to take, you know? I switched my major to mass communications. And when I switched it to that, I was like, oh shit, like this is it. Like this all sophomore year, I was taking mass comic classes which is really dope. And then I just got my apartment for my sophomore year with my roommate. And I was having so much fun. Like, I didn't really care. I was like, you know what? Like, no, this year's gonna be good. Like, I, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is nice, you know, living alone, I felt like. So then sophomore year, the second semester, I was taking classes that were more geared towards what I wanted to do. And when I tell you, like, it does not get better, like, no matter how much you enjoy the classes, it does not get better. At least for me it didn't and for my roommate it didn't because we were taking some easy classes we took a class together it was just so draining like i was like oh i was, I was so excited i was like i'm gonna be doing what i want to do blah blah blah, blah. Or like the closest thing to what i really wanted to do to be honest i didn't really know what i wanted to do i just knew that i was super creative i wanted something to do with fashion i just wanted to do something that that challenged me it just was not fun like it was school just makes it to the point where it becomes so stressful and like such a chore time consuming thing that it just sucks all the fun out of it like it just sucks all that shit out of it you know what i'm saying it becomes so overwhelming and i just couldn't do it like, i stopped going to classes it just i don't know like i just i just i couldn't get myself to go because whenever i went i would just be sitting there like why am i here i always ask myself why am i here it's just not adding up and then i just i literally just like dropped all my classes the thing about the classes is that they have specific things that you have to follow just me realizing like i don't i just don't need to be here it wasn't fun for me at that point anymore in the beginning all the shit's fun you know <sighs> i just couldn't do it anymore and I, and I don't like to sit here and say oh i can't i can't i can't because that's not cute but like i literally just couldn't do it anymore I don't know, I was just glad that I had my roommate and like friends that were there to support me because I don't know, without them, like I wouldn't have just dropped out. Like I just up and I just up and dropped out. It was to the point where it was just affecting me mentally and then physically at the same time. And I felt like that shouldn't be the case. Like, okay, mind you, I was a full time student. Because in order to get the money that I needed to go to school to pay for this expensive, expensive ass tuition, we'll get into that. Expensive ass tuition, which is like at least like four or five classes, I think, per semester, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's not just like, you know, one a day, it's multiple times a week. This is when I was like, damn, I would totally finish off this year if they offered associates degrees here i didn't even know i didn't even know they didn't offer associates because it was never something that i even thought of i was like no if i go to college i'm not giving my associates i'm going all four years like you know what i'm saying but no unless you know for a fact for a fact that you're going to be there all four years and then you should not go if they don't offer associates that was something that i learned the hard way then i'm stuck with a bunch of credits that may or may not transfer on a transcript, you know what I'm saying? They mean nothing. I have no piece of paper, but I'm thousands of dollars in debt. Thousands. So basically, the summer of sophomore year, that was just me acting like I was gonna make this work and me acting like staying at VCU was the best decision for me, even though I had already felt so miserable the first semester. I thought that things were gonna be different because like I had an apartment, I had my best friend with me all the time just so much freedom you know and i was like back on a schedule like i had a job or whatever like i was just really adulting but it just wasn't 
it just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. It really was. When I made that final decision, such like a, a weight was just lifted off my shoulders. Like I genuinely felt a weight lifted. Like I genuinely felt, I literally can't describe it, but I was just like, whew. like I was like, I can breathe now. Ugh, that feeling, like I just will never forget because I remember I was like, okay, like and now I know for sure that I'm gonna do this. Also, VCU played me, okay? So number one, I didn't even want to get an apartment for for my sophomore year, but everybody gets an apartment when you're on a campus like that. So if we, first of all, if you don't know what BCU is, it's an open campus and it's in the middle of the city. A sophomore year, like everybody gets their apartments and shit because, okay, the acceptance rate when I first went was 25%. And I swear it went up to like 50% by my sophomore year because BCU was taking all of our money, taking out hella fees that we don't know about and putting it towards like billion dollar buildings so it can look nice to all these like new dorms made for freshmen so we sophomores and up we don't get to live in a dorm unless you're a part of some sort of like community or like some sort of community service thing some sort of group for the school i wasn't doing that okay first of all i had a job i was not doing that like i was like no i'm not about to be doing no hours and hours of community service not that i'm not you know willing to serve in the community but like i just don't i didn't have time i wasn't what i wanted to do and i also wanted to live with my best friends so i was like no like i'm not doing that like, i want to live with who i want to live with like no i don't want no random ass like no i had already dealt with a bad roommate situation before i'm not doing that again i was like okay fine like i'll get my own apartment like, it'll be straight i was using like some of my loan money to pay for my rent anyway so like it wasn't as bad it was kind of cool just to like experience i ooh. Let me tell you, having an apartment for the first time ever, that was an experience, especially like in the middle of the city. That's a whole different story. That was that was a true, that was a true experience. It really, really was. But I learned so much. But I feel like if I had known that going into VCU, then I probably I'm not saying I would have picked a different school because I don't know. I'm trying to allude to the fact that I should have done way more research i should have been way more proactive in that sense i feel like when you search for college you're just like searching for the best one and you're searching for like your major to see if they have good classes for it like a lot of people don't really know how to research that information i never once picked up the phone and called somebody from vcu and said hi i'd like to just talk to you about this this and this like no i never did that like, i literally went to the tour whatever went to the little like orient what is it called preview day orientation whatever I and i just loved it i was like no like this is it like i already had a group of people that I met like online um, was like I don't know it was just it was just already set it was already set VCU definitely plays you because they give you a certain amount of money when you first get there and like oh they give me grants they give me money like they see that I'm a good student they blah blah they want me or whatever second year they didn't give me shit when I say not one dime not one dime that's how they play you because they know you're gonna fall in love with the campus they know you're gonna meet such amazing people they know you're not gonna want to leave and they don't give you money so that you have to stay and you have to pay more money and that you in all this debt and that's facts now don't get me wrong it wasn't all trash i met some amazing people like i said i met those people at vc there was probably one professor actually two classes two classes one was my uh univ class we call it univ it was amazing that that class i learned so much from and it was a very small class i don't do well in lecture halls because either i'm on my phone i'm zoning out or whatever like y'all already know like lectures are just not not the way it was a smaller class so like i just learned so much from that class i loved her so much i loved her so much another one was my african-american studies class that that one that class taught me a lot I still didn't go to that class all the way but I got an A, so it's whatever. So it wasn't like it was all bad, but out of all the classes that I took, which was how many? 5, 10, 50, 20 classes? The 20 classes that I took, two out of the 20 were the ones that I can really say, oh, I learned some stuff from this class. You know what I'm saying? Like that just didn't add up to me. I just really like realized everything so late. I am a firm believer of like everything does happen for a reason. Looking back, I can see why I was put in certain positions and I can see why I had to do some of the things that I had to do because in the end, like that taught me a lot. Moving forward with my life, like I know how to do a lot more things. And I feel like if I didn't go to BCU, I would be in a place where like, I just didn't know a whole lot, especially when it comes to like getting your own apartment or like 
about schools in general and i don't know just a, it's just a bunch of different things i feel like i'm gonna look at this and i'm gonna hate how this came out because i really did want you guys to really truly understand why i left honestly really really hard for me because i didn't want to leave the city like i feel like i belong in the city i grew up in the suburbs and it's just not me and i feel like i belong in the city i was really upset all my friends were there like everybody was there it was just transitioning to a new chapter in my life so right now I'm in that new chapter and I realized that this is probably one of the best things that I could have done for myself because now I'm able to save money. Now I'm able to make YouTube videos for you guys. Now I have a full-time job, able to do all these things going towards what I really, really want, which is making this money, moving out to California and continuing what I want to do as being an influencer. And it's not like, oh, I have to move out to California to be an influencer. I don't want to hear i don't even want to hear because that's not it i've been wanting to california from jump even if not even making youtube videos i just wanted to live there i didn't want to be on the east coast anymore i just can't i can't do the east coast i just can't i love you east coast <laughs> i love you east coast i love you but like i want i need to be on the west coast like west side all day i just see myself in california so now that the student loans now that the student loans are coming around, it's kind of like, damn, now I really wish I would have kept my ass home or at a community college or in California already. Just like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, it's just these are repercussions of situations that I put myself in. So it's all, it's all just like a learning process. But yeah, the six months after you leave, how the loans hit, that is real. I'm going to tell you right now, that is real. The loans will hit you and they will hit you with the payments. You can defer them shits all you want, but no, it'll hit you with the payments. Now, I'm trying to enroll into beauty school because that's always something I'm always into. Like if you follow me on social media, you know that I'm very into skincare, hair care. I actually worked at a lash studio last summer, so I got really got into like aesthetics. So yeah i'm actually looking into enrollment i just don't know what school i want to go to yet i just need to take the time to figure out what i want to do because i feel like so many people are forced and they're kind of like pushed in a direction and you feel like you're going to disappoint everybody around you because that's exactly what i felt and that's honestly not the case do what makes you happy because if you don't it's only gonna affect you. Like, ultimately, it's your life, and you really have to stop worrying about what people are gonna think about you, um, or how they're gonna feel, or how they're gonna act, and all that shit. If going to school is what you truly want to do, then do it. But I'm just saying, these loans, bitch. If I were to give advice to you guys, I would say if you're fresh out of high school, you don't know what you want to do, you don't know what major you want to have, you don't know what college you want to go to you don't even know if you want to if you wait where you want to work like if you want to leave the house like you like if you just don't know you're just fucking confused take a break it's okay to take a break or go part-time take a couple classes and see how you feel it's okay to not rush into it 17 18 years old being on your own like at some in some tiny ass cubicle like no it's okay and i get so frustrated like talking about it because it's just crazy to me how obligated such young people feel to like know what they're doing with their lives and i'm not saying oh take a break till you're 30 and just live at home or whatever no i'm just saying take the time to really know what you want to do just so you don't end up in a situation like i did and not saying that you won't learn from the situation not saying you'll regret the situation you might regret some parts but it's just gonna be better for you in the long run just some words of advice I hope that this kind of like cleared up um, some of y'all's questions as to why I left. Basically, it just came down to money, um, the classes that I was offered, and just really not knowing what I wanted to do and not wanting to just be in school anymore doing things where I would be sitting there and thinking, why am I doing this? That I just couldn't wrap that around my head and I still can't, which is why I'm home. Which honestly is the hardest part about this whole thing. But I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to save as much money as I possibly can and make as much money as I possibly can to then push it towards where I want to be and where I want to go in life. So it's been real. Like it's been so fucking real. The past two years of my life have just been so fucking real. I thought pretty much of this video. 
um thank you guys again for watching side note i'm so happy with the outcome of my last video i know it's only like 200 something views right now but i'm so happy because i literally thought i was gonna get like five views i didn't think anybody was gonna care about a fucking top knot top one tutorial like I don't think anybody was gonna care. So just thank you so much for watching that last video. I really do appreciate it for all of you guys who watched and who just like constantly supported me and even like told me you were gonna support me before I even started the channel because those of you who like pushed those kind words on me and you know were already committed to watching and subscribing to my channel before I even posted, like y'all are the people that really really pushed me. Um, if they're even, they're down for me before I even post a video, I'm posting this fucking video. So again, I said thank you so many times on my social media, but I really just do want to say thank you again because that really meant a lot to me. I will be <laughs> vlogging in California. I leave in two days. It won't be two days when y'all see this, but I leave in two days and y'all gonna see. So right now, I really hope this isn't like super, super shitty. I hope that I was recording this whole time because if I wasn't, I'm gonna cry. And yeah, yeah okay, that's it. What if I wasn't recording?